Hello, everyone. Uh, today, we are started for our new course online, which is uh, through Zoom, uh, you know, to teach the traditional Yang family Tai Chi Quan uh, a four. Uh, first, uh, I would like, uh, you know, welcome you and thank you for you be part of it. Uh, join us uh, for this uh, teaching. And uh, uh, this is the first day. Uh, we also try to do a live streaming on Facebook. Uh, there is a little bit of a technical issue. So hopefully uh, right now, uh, everything can be running uh, smooth. And uh, uh, regarding on the course, uh, I would like first uh, have a little bit of background uh, about the traditional form. Uh, then I also want to understand the purpose uh, of the form for us to learn and also for practice. So this is, uh, uh, you know, mostly like an overview to talk about the traditional Yang family Tai Chi Chuan sequence or form. Uh, the background first. We, most of us, I believe we know uh, the founder of the Yang family Tai Chi Chuan is uh, Yang Lu Chan. And uh, he actually, I should say, is the one of the earliest uh, teacher uh, to start teaching Tai Chi Chuan in Forbidden City, uh, which is today's Beijing. And uh, uh, he actually contrib contributed the uh, Tai Chi Chuan. This area is made people to know Tai Chi Chuan exists. Uh, before Yang Lu Chan, actually there is not many people know uh, there is a Tai Chi Chuan exists. So which is uh, through the Yang Lu Chan's, uh, you know, performing, uh, joining with a competition, uh, then, you know, he become uh, well known in Beijing. And uh, uh, also same time, he made people start to know there is a Tai Chi Chuan and it's a very good uh, art in there. Then uh, the background of the Yang family Tai Chi Chuan, we should say the found, through the founder of the Yang, uh, Yang Lu Chan, then uh, passing down to next generation, which is uh, Yang Ban Ho and uh, Yang Jian Ho. Uh, this is the second generation of the young family, which is uh, uh, two of them uh, carry on the learning from the father, which is Yang Lu Chan. Then, you know, they developing themselves into a two different uh, uh, direction. One went to a small frame, uh, which is make movements smaller, uh, shifting quick, uh, you know, changing quick, more agile. So this is about the uh, one direction they take, which is Yang Ban Ho take this direction. Then the other son, Yang Jian Ho, actually his personality more gentle, which is uh, he took the other direction, make movements uh, larger and also uh, performing in the gentle way. So which is uh, uh, two brothers, actually they went to a two different direction. Uh, I also believe the reason for them to change into these two different directions uh, is because they are personality. Uh, one is performing hard, the other more gentle. So which is they went to uh, two different directions in uh, they are performing. Then the young family Tai Chi actually reached to a third generation, which is uh, uh, also has uh, two uh, people carry on. One, they both come from Yang Jianho, uh, which is uh, Yang Jianho's son. Uh, one is Yang Shaoho, is his first son. And uh, then is his third, third son, Yang Chengfu. And the two of them uh, basically carry on uh, one from their ankle, which is Yang Banho, uh, went to a small frame, uh, quick action. And the other carry on with a father, which is uh, uh, Yang Chengfu. And the Yang Chengfu even made the form from the father's middle frame and make it even large. 
then later on we call his uh, you know performing as a large frame so through those three generations of the development which is uh, at the yang lu chan's time we call an older frame then went to a second generation yang ban ho yang jian ho it has a two kind of a performing one we call small frame and the other we call a middle frame then reach into a third generation yang chengfu and the yang shao ho then yang shao ho carry on from the ankle which is a small frame and the yang chengfu developing based on his father's performing make it even large then become a large frame so this is a, a development uh, in Yang family Tai Chi Chuan. Then through the three generation of the passing down, uh, you know, uh, in the art, uh, we also want to identify one person, which is uh, Yang Chengfu, which is uh, uh, through his, uh, you know, contribution, I should say, uh, or his uh, uh, teaching. Uh, he is uh, one of the important person, uh, I would say, uh, for the Yang family Tai Chi and even for Tai Chi Chuan today. Uh, I should say, uh, at the, that time, Yang Chengfu's time, China also uh, has changed. Uh, it's started shifting from Nantrians, which is a Qing dynasty, into a republic so which is uh, during that time the government also changed from beijing into uh, nanjing and uh, in uh, in fortune which is uh, uh, at that time uh, the central government from the republic which is uh, very much willing to promote uh, chinese martial arts uh, I believe some of you, if you have some of the uh, background to understand the Chinese history, China at that time during the transition was quite weak. People are poor. Sometimes uh, they don't have enough of food and uh, uh, their life, their spirit are actually very low. So which is uh, uh, the central government at that time in Republic, they want to use a martial art to help people's, uh, you know, building up their uh, physical condition and rise up their spirit. So they actually push martial arts as a national art. So which is, uh, uh, that is uh, one of the, uh, I would say a good time, or let's say a golden time for Chinese martial arts, uh, you know, to, uh, to develop, to spread. So Yang Chengfu is also a part of it, which is uh, he actually from a Northern China, which is from Beijing. Then he moved to a Nanjing, which is a capital city. Then he went to a Shanghai, Hangzhou, uh, then Wuhan, uh, then went to a Canton. So which is uh, he actually uh, through his uh, uh, traveling and the teaching, he brought the Tai Chi Chuan from a Northern China into a southern China. So this is a one of his uh, contribution because he made the Tai Chi Chuan more spread. And uh, second, I also want to say he's important. Uh, we probably all believe Yang Lu Chan from a skill, from his uh, performing probably the best. Uh, that's why people gave him a nickname as a young invincible. Uh, which is uh, nobody can win him. Uh, we believe he probably is the best, but there is an issue. Uh, through Yang Lu Chan to today, it's 200 years. At that time, we don't have any of the technique for camera, uh, which is there is no image of him, uh, you know, for his performing, we are the performing, and there is uh, no video. Uh, for how he did performing. So which is, uh, there is uh, no way to uh, to understand at that time how he does, uh, you know, performing in Tai Chi Chuan. 
And either way, in second generation, uh, through the Yang, uh, Yang Ban Hou and the Yang Jian Hou, they all didn't really uh, lift, you know, uh, any of the image on how they performing it. I believe at that time, uh, the cameras is already exist, but it probably is very expensive and uh, no way for people to shooting a lot of the photo, you know, for they are performing for the, uh, for the, for the Taiji Chuan. So which is uh, uh, none of them in past generation uh, has a image uh, passing down on how they performing it. But Yang, Lu, uh, Yang Cheng Fu, he is the one actually left us a book with his whole sequence complete form in performing. And he even not have uh, only one book, he actually have uh, two, three of the books with the image on how he performed. And uh, like his younger age, middle age, and also his uh, senior age. So uh, uh, he can, he has all kind of this uh, complete photo, you know, to identify how he do a performance. So which is uh, through these parts, uh, he left us as, uh, uh, you know, a sample. Uh, which is uh, uh, to understand, uh, you know, young style or his performing how to do it. That's why, you know, uh, later on, we identified Yang Cheng Fu is a model of the Yang family Tai Chi Chuan. And also, uh, this is the second reason. Uh, I said the first reason it is because he traveling from Northern China to Southern China, he went to a many different place. Uh, then, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, he teached many students. I believe this is uh, the other part of the reason, which is his personality is also a gentle, calm, and, uh, uh, you know, uh, teach students are more in the gentle way, uh, calm way, and the friendly way. So then he has a lot of students. And uh, second, uh, you know, it's because he traveling, he didn't have opportunity to teach many students. Then the third, uh, I, I should say, is also because he left us a complete set of his photo on how he performing. Then we identified he is a model of the young family Tai Chi Chuan. And uh, if today anyone you talked about it, uh, if they are practice a uh, young style Tai Chi or young family Tai Chi Chuan, probably you will find a link uh, connect with uh, uh, Yang Cheng Fu. So that's why, uh, as we can see, he actually made uh, Tai Chi Chuan a more uh, popular. And uh, he also, you know, lift up the cleared uh, image for us. That's why we identified uh, his teaching as a uh, you know, model of the young family Tai Chi. And the today's Tai Chi trend, I also want to identify the young family Tai Chi is one of the most uh, popular style. Uh, we know Tai Chi trend today have uh, uh, more than five major styles like Chen, Yang, Wu, Wu, Sun. And there is also uh, more styles, uh, you know, in China and probably also uh, in the world, uh, but the five major style are what we identified are more popular today. The Yang family Tai Chi Chuan's, uh, I, uh, I would say is one of the most popular uh, style. Uh, the reason one is because the Yang family teaching Tai Chi Chuan, I would say is one of the earliest uh, family start to talk uh, tai Chi Chuan, to teach Tai Chi Chuan. And from Yang Lu Chan until to today, uh, it's about 200 years. So uh, it's been a long time for young family teaching Tai Chi Chuan. Then second, uh, I will also uh, want to say it's uh, uh, because the Chinese government promotion. Uh, I will say uh, the promotion on this is around the 19, uh, late 1950, earlier 1960. Uh, at the, uh, China at that time, people are 
you know, need something to exercise, uh, you know, uh, for their physical condition uh, to be a more health, then uh, they find out Tai Chi Chuan has a best benefit. Then they create, uh, you know, a short form to promote a Tai Chi Chuan to the whole nation for them to use uh, in practice. And at that time, when they decide what kind of a Tai Chi Chuan they want to use to create this uh, short form, actually they chosen uh, based on Yang Chengfu's uh, performing. So which is, uh, uh, they use uh, Yang Chengfu, which is a young, uh, young family Tai Chi as the foundation, then organized a short a sequence, what we call a 24 form. And sometimes we also uh, know as a simplified uh, Tai Chi Chuan. So which is, uh, uh, you can see the 24 movements, every of the single movements, is come from a young style. So that's is also a one of the reason, <clears throat> you know, because they spread to a whole nation and made a young style Tai Chi Chuan become uh, more popular. And even then from China extended into a world. So this is uh, one of the, uh, you know, uh, idea we understand young style today is one of the most popular style in Tai Chi Chuan. And it's because of those reasons. I think one is because a young family been teaching very early time. And the second, uh, through the Chinese government, uh, when they are promoted for the whole nation's house, they chosen young style uh, Tai Chi Chuan to create a short form. Then they made this uh, become to a more popular. So that is about a little bit the background of the young family Tai Chi Chuan. Then as we are going to teach for this course uh, online, which is we, we are uh, set up for 40 class uh, to teaching this uh, course. Here, I also wanted to give the, a little bit, uh, you know, uh, content. What about this uh, course uh, to give you an overview first? So the course, uh, basically, I will include the, the content into uh, three areas. So which is uh, one is uh, regarding um, the theory. Uh, talked about the theory related with the Tai Chi Chuan. Then I also uh, want, you know, in, inside of a theory, probably like, uh, you know, philosophy, uh, principles and uh, also uh, some part of the classics. So this is the content uh, we are going to, uh, you know, discussion about it. Then the uh, fundamental training method. Okay, in Chinese we will talk, uh, we will call a gong fa. So which is uh, 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 the fundamental method on understanding how to using a waste, how to make a coordination, uh, what is the body technique, what is uh, the foot technique. We understand uh, those kind of fundamental uh, element. So this is uh, the second area Then we are going to, I mean, we are going to discussion about it. Then the third area is more related with uh, sequence teaching. So the sequence teaching, uh, probably we are, you know, one understand uh, uh, each movements, how to performing it, and uh, uh, you know uh, how to do uh, performing in the right method. Uh, then we also want to discussion uh, what is the idea based from the martial arts this direction. Uh, what is the meaning of these movements, or from a technical side, how to understand this movement. Then if some movements are available to uh, connect with the other kind of content for us to practice, we also do some explanation, which is the sequence, the movements, how connect with uh, push hands. So this is the basic content and planning to teach, you know, in this uh, complete, uh, you know, uh, traditional form package. Uh, I just wanted to uh, make a little bit uh, more expression 
uh, in Young Family Tai Chi Chuan, uh, I know many of us probably already understand the sequence, uh, but sometimes uh, people are thinking maybe we need a more learning a different kind of the sequence of movements, uh, but actually uh, in Young Family Tai Chi Chuan's system, the traditional form is one of the most important uh, element. I should say this is a foundation of the Yang family Tai Chi Chuan, uh, which is uh, uh, doesn't matter later on you building up uh, what kind of uh, you know practice method, like a short form or different way of the performing, but the fundamental is based on this uh, sequence. So which is uh, the traditional form, I would say is one of the uh, in most important content for young family Tai Chi Chuan. So that's why for this time when we are teaching, we actually uh, focusing on uh, overall everybody. So we want to make this uh, teaching as uh, complete as uh, possible, uh, which is uh, uh, try to make, uh, you know, uh, more, uh, uh, complete, let's say the words use complete, maybe it's better, uh, you know, uh, to make this uh, teaching uh, refined, uh, you know, a teaching more essenced teaching for this uh, course. Uh, then, you know, uh, there is a little bit uh, uh, unclear the parts I want to be clarified. Uh, as we say, the Yang Chang Fu's. Uh, uh, final uh, performing as our model. And uh, uh, we actually uh, will say his finalized performing is uh, represent for the Young Family Tai Chi's uh, character, which is uh, uh, movements uh, large, performing slow, even, and uh, uh, you know, simple, clear, no flowery. This is a character of the Yang family Tai Chi Chuan. And also this is come from the Yang Cheng Fu's, uh, you know, performing. Uh, but there is a, a little bit the unclear parts, maybe confused for some people. Uh, the official name, what we are using is called a Yang family uh, Tai Chi Chuan traditional four. Uh, but sometimes you were hearing a different uh, way of uh, saying uh, make people may understand that this is a different things. Uh, like uh, some people will say uh, 85 uh, form, and uh, some of us may say it's 103, and sometimes you will hear some people say a 108 form, and even sometimes you can hear someone say it's a 118, and uh, I heard the largest number is a 148, uh, which is uh, uh, I don't know, the 148 is exactly the same as what we do, but they all say it's a young family traditional form. Uh, the reason we have a such different number is because of the way how you counting the movements. Uh, the Yang Cheng Fu's performing on his book, actually he uh, made a sequence as 85, uh, this uh, number. So that's why uh, you will see many people call 85, this movement, 85 form. Uh, uh, as my grandfather, actually, he used a little bit of different way of the counting. Then he become a member as a 103. Uh, so the difference is uh, in Yang Cheng Fu's calling, for example, when we are doing a brush nian push, he will say in Yang Cheng Fu's book, was say a left, right brush nian and push as one movement. But actually, in the real sequence, what we do is uh, left, then right, then left. You will have a three. Then plus, uh, plus the beginning, we also before the hands drum a loot, we have the other, then we have a five. Uh, so which is, uh, you see in Yang Cheng Fu, he will just do a left, right, brush knee. But if we following what we do and uh, divide it by left, right, left, right, then you can see the number, it become a difference. Then the way uh, we uh, divide it by left, right, actually it's easier for people 
you know, to follow the sequence. And also it's more convenient when we are calling out uh, the comment, people are easy to follow uh, practice uh, together. So that is the purpose. I think, uh, uh, you know, for us have a different number in there, then the means it's a different uh, content, different uh, movement. It's the same sequence, same form. It's just a different way of the counting on number. So these parts I would like, uh, you know, we be uh, cleared and not, uh, you know, uh, thinking this is a different things. So this is about the, uh, you know, uh, uh, the traditional form I want to make a clear first. Then the next things uh, I also want us to understand, uh, the traditional form stand in what kind of a position in Tai Chi Chuan. Uh, as I already mentioned uh, at the beginning, uh, which is uh, uh, the traditional form is a very important uh, a content for Tai Chi Chuan, uh, based on Yang family Tai Chi Chuan. But uh, uh, how it's important, what is the goal for us to learn this, we have to be uh, understand, which is uh, today, our idea is to make an overview uh, to understand the purpose of this uh, sequence. So uh, I know many of us experienced on learning Tai Chi Chuan is uh, you're learning a movements, uh, performing the sequence, that's it. And a lot of us through the learning a sequence, we probably uh, feel we learning a movements. At the beginning, you remember many movements, you feel you are making progress, then you, know, you are uh, enjoy visit. And uh, uh, I don't see uh, for, uh, after you are learning the sequence, then you will not feel improved because every day you practice, you will still feel, uh, you know, uh, you maintain your strength, ability, and you receive a health benefit. This is a uh, most important part too. But, uh, you know, uh, uh, sometimes we don't really understand what is the goal of, for us to understand learning in sequence, then you start in somewhere, you don't feel from a uh, skill this part, you are remaining an uh, improvement in here. So that is uh, one part uh, I think we need to be addressing in here. And uh, as we understand uh, Tai Chi Chuan uh, is based on the philosophy, you know, uh, uh, this part of the theory and extended into a martial arts, this area. And uh, they are a whole a system, which is uh, element on yin and the yang to sight. And uh, as what we are learning, it's also Tai Chi Chuan is just a part of this uh, system. It's not really a young family Tai Chi, it's all about uh, this sequence. Uh, it is fundamental, uh, you know, based from the sequence, but uh, uh, we cannot say the sequence is everything. So which is, uh, uh, we have to understand uh, the sequence of the learning, or let's say the form is in which position of the Tai Chi Chuan system. Then uh, we have to understand the Tai Chi Chuan system first. Uh, when we are talked about the Tai Chi Chuan, uh, Fang Hong, Guan Okay, so, uh, sorry. <clears throat> okay, so, uh, when, uh, let's go back. Uh, talk about the Tai Chi Trans system in here. Uh, okay, uh, we're saying uh, Tai Chi Chuan is based on a yin yang philosophy. Tai Chi is a theory, then inside of the Tai Chi, we have a yin and a yang, two sides, okay, which is uh, uh, they are in two parts, uh, you know, uh, of the Tai Chi. 
Then when we are talking about the Tai Chi, uh, Tai Chi Chuan, which is uh, martial arts, when we talk about the martial arts, defining uh, related with uh, yin and uh, yang will be one is a wu, the other is a wen. Wen is more like a scholar. Wu is more like a marshal. So which is uh, uh, in Tai Chi Quan, actually you are learning a uh, two side. One part, one part is how in the marshal, the other part is how to be nurturing. And uh, 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 connect with Wen and the Wu will be uh, what we call Ti and Yun. Wen actually is connected with uh, Ti, which is our body. Uh, Wu is more connected with how to use. So which is uh, uh, you nurture your body means to be able to apply it. You know, that is a uh, connections on two parts. So uh, that's why in Chinese we have a saying, Wen yi xiu ti, wu yi wei yong, which is uh, use Wen, which is uh, yin part, yin study to nurture your body. And uh, when you finding the fundamental uh, skill, uh, I mean, uh, foundation, uh, then you are willing to be applying it, make it the actually performing it, then this is uh, Yun. So actually everything is about T and Yun. When we, when we, oh, okay, sorry, excuse me. Okay, so uh, when we when we are uh, you know uh, talked about the martial arts, this area, uh, which is uh, uh, I want to extend it. Everything is about the Ti and the Yun. Like you study in the school, uh, it's not like really you knowing the knowledge. Actually, later on when you are finding a job, applying with the knowledge you learned, this is a use. So which is uh, you're learning something, nurtures yourself. Uh, important part is not just you know it. Important part is you're able to perform it. So that is about the relationship of the yin and the yang, qi and the yu. So uh, understand uh, this is a theory, a system, uh, which is uh, uh, important. Uh, in here, uh, sorry for the uh, disturbing. Uh, this morning actually is not uh, uh, you know best, uh, which is at the beginning we have a technical issue, and we've been figuring out how to do this. Uh, you know, uh, for an hour, then you know, uh, uh, just want to say a little apologize uh, for you know uh, something we didn't really are preparing. Uh, you know, uh, ahead then you know make everything is a little bit of rush in here so this actually do affecting my teaching uh, i just want to have a little apologize uh, for you so this is a, a, a parts i wanted to uh, you know uh want we to make a clear regarding on the uh, you know the system then when we say t and the u uh, uh, here we're saying when you shoot, this is from the classic, which is when nurtures your body. Wu actually is uh, uh, used into the performing this, uh, this, this side. Then here is the other parts uh, will, will be a more related on the detail. Uh, they say, so which is a uh, here they say Quan means um, uh, I don't want translated into a form or sequence, uh, which is uh, uh, it's harder to it's uh, something is more like uh, 
uh, in Chinese, the Quan direct translate is a fist. But uh, in here, you also have a part of the meaning is a, a sequence. But actually, in here, it's not really about a sequence either. Uh, then uh, basically, the idea is uh, the self practice a system, uh, which is nourishes your body. Then Tui Shou Wei Yong, which is a push hands, but here also you should not understand it's just about the push hands, is a practice with your opponent is a chief ability for applying, for use. So which is uh, they uh, clearly identified in practice a system, which is uh, one part is uh, related on your self training, self practice. Then the other part is uh, practice with the other or opponent. So this is about the uh, you know detailed uh, about these uh, two parts of the practice related with T and the U. Then what is a content related with uh, self practice? Uh, we have uh, these parts, uh, you know, needed to understand, which is one is related with uh, uh, shape. You can see a shape, uh, you know, from outside you can identify it. Okay, and what kind of uh, shape you are, position you are. And uh, second is no shape. What the things has no shape? Energy. So which is uh, uh, you are learning yourself this area. Basically, you're learning uh, one is with a shape, one is without a shape. Then with the shape, this area also has uh, two parts we need to uh, learn. One is a still practice, which is you don't move. And the other part is a moving practice, which is a moving. In here, the moving practice, uh, I should say, is not limited by you move by yourself. You move with your opponent, still it's a moving practice, which is a, a moving practice. It can be a self, it also can be with your opponent. But in here, they focusing on just self practice in this area. Then with no shape practice, the content, what we identified will be uh, energy. Energy has no shape, okay? Then what are we going to learn in this area actually is also related with uh, yin and yang, which is uh, energies yin yang will be identified on two directions. One is hard. Regarding on the hard, what is the other uh, you know, uh, parts of the yin yang, which is uh, soft. So as you can understand it, uh, when we talked about the self practice, we talked about shape, no shape, which is yin yang. And inside of the shape area of the uh, content to practice, one is the still, one is a moving, still moving, it's also a yin yang relationship. Then inside of the no shape, we also identified this as a energy. Energy is yin yang, will be a soft and a hard. So which is, uh, this is about the, you know, a system of the Tai Chi Chuan. Then inside of the still, we have a certain content, you know, needed to be uh, put into it. Inside of the moving practice, we also have a certain content we need to add into it. So which is uh, Tai Chi Chuan's sequence of practice is just under the shape of practice, under the moving practice, one content in there. Okay, so now we understand the position of the Tai, uh, uh, tai Chi Chuan's, like a, let's say a sequence, in the Tai Chi Chuan's assistance. And uh, for sure, when we're learning a sequence, it's not just a learning, uh, you know, that area. You're going to reach uh, all the ideas related with other, which is, uh, for example, the sequence practice, how linked with the still practice. And the sequence practice from the movement, what we learn, how linked with the energies performing. You are going to, uh, you know, 
uh, outreach with all the other, uh, you know, areas. But just understand the sequence is just one part of the Tai Chi Trans system. The sequence cannot say, you know, it's a represent for Tai Chi Chuan overall. You know, uh, it's just a part of the system in there. So this is a first part. I want you to have the idea first. Uh, then, uh, which is applying inside of these parts actually is uh, training yourself into how to applying it. And in this area, uh, actually, uh, it also divided by a different contents in there. Uh, since we are not going to discussion uh, this area in this course, so we leave it, you know, into, uh, you know, future. Well, when we have the other opportunities, we can more discussion, practice with the opponent, this, uh, this side of the Tai Chi Trans system. So uh, here, the first things we discussed just uh, uh, you know, after the background of the traditional form, now we understand the position of the Tai Chi Trans uh, form in where of the Tai Chi Trans system. Then next things I want to talk about it is uh, what are we going to learn, uh, you know, in the sequence? Are we going to just memorize with a different, uh, many of the movements? Uh, is that the goal for us to, uh, to learn? Uh, the answer is uh, uh, yes and no. Uh, for sure, you are going to learning a movements. You need to have to memorize with this movements, which is a yes. But our goal actually is not about learning the sequence. Then what is the goal in there? Uh, first, uh, if we talk about the bigger picture uh, in classics, they actually made this uh, quite clear which is, uh, uh, they talked about uh, what is the purpose for learning the Tai Chi Chuan? You know, overall is uh, extended your life as never ended the springtime, you know, which is uh, 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 the idea is uh, practice Tai Chi Chuan, practice any of the item. Uh, the goal is uh, help you to have uh, longevity. Uh, you know, maintains your health, uh, you know, which is uh, as a never ended springtime. So this is uh, our bigger picture. But uh, I would also addressing, we cannot just uh, uh, understand in overall how this picture, we also need uh, through the detail, this picture to understand the goal. Uh, when we are uh, learning the sequence, uh, yes, first you're learning a movements in one by one, and you memorize with that. But the goal actually is not just about the movements, about external uh, shape. You through the movements learning, the first things you are learning a method. Uh, what I'm talking about the method is uh, regarding on um, what we need, for example, moving continuously without uh, interrupt. This is a kind of the method talking about the energies flowing, uh, how to make energy flow, okay? Then we also, uh, uh, you know, uh, through the movements, uh, learning uh, coordinations and the coordinations need help us achieve a certain uh, goal. For example, how we make our lower bodies movement how we use our middle body and how we are extended our arms are performing. Uh, we need to learn the coordination about the uh, middle body, lower body and the upper body. Then we want to achieve the goal to make energy able to uh, unify. And you are able to performing uh, energy in soft and uh, hard. So which is, uh, uh, this is, uh, I mean, this is one of the goal, which is you learning a sequence. You learning first idea is learning the method. 
Okay, the method is very important. And there, uh, uh, I, I should say many method in there, for example, how to relax, you know, how to, you know, uh, uh, addressing your body shape, uh, which is, uh, uh, you know, head up, shoulder down, elbow down. And we also need to understand what is the uh, uh, purpose for us to remain in those uh, methods in there. So this is about the, you know, uh, first, we want to understand the learning purpose in the sequence is about method. Then second, it's also important part, which is this is based on the martial arts side. You learning uh, movements are basically a learning uh, techniques. Here I talked about the technique are more focusing in the martial arts, this direction. For example, ward off, uh, roll back, and press, or push. This kind of a uh, technique are uh, grabbing, uh, control your opponent, uh, join lock, and uh, take over your opponent, take down your opponent, uh, and uh, those are techniques. And uh, uh, in Tai Chi Chuan uh, classics, we are seeing Tai Chi Chuan, one part of the name we call a Tan Ji Chuan, and the other nickname we call a Long Fist. Then we also dress in Tai Chi Chuan as a certain posture. So from this part of the classic, actually you understand, uh, they say it's a Long Fist. Why we say a Long Fist? It's because of the energy continuously move without interrupt, like water flow and like clouds are moving. So this is a one kind of the dressing, which is the energy is continually, continually move without breaking it. Okay. Then second, they also from the technically the dressing is a certain posture. Basically is whatever the sequence you are learning is one of those technique related. So which is you are not really a learning about just a shape of this movement. You from the shape, understand the method, how to performing it, but you also need to understand the technical side of this movement. So which is you from a shape to pulling out the things like a method and the things like a technique. And when you learned a technique, then you will be not limited by an outside shape. Uh, word off can be used like this, and word off can be used as a down, and also sideways, and the word off also can be used as a protecting, guarding your self-center. So which is, when you learned the technique, you are not going to limit it by the outside shape. So which is uh, uh, here, we actually, uh, want you to understand you through the fixed movement actually learning a lively uh, technique in there. And uh, you, you uh, pulling out of the technique is important. Do not limit the by the movements in there. Uh, you know, how, man, how many movements you can learn? Uh, I'm sure you can learn a lot. Uh, you can memory a lot of the movements. But is every of the movements in real situation, you can exactly to do like a, the movements you're performing? Probably not, which is uh, you have to pull out the technique and follow the real situation, adopting the technique, then use the method and the performing into the actual uh, shape in there. So which is uh, you through the fix the shape, learning the technique, learning the method, then when real situation, you based on the method, based on the technique, rebuilding the shape. Then, you know, you have unlimited outside of the movements in there. So this is, uh, uh, you know, the purpose and the content, what you should uh, learn from the sequence. Not just the memory, the movements, physical movements. Uh, it's about learning method about learning a technique. Then through the sequence of learning, there is another idea you need to understand, which is uh, regarding on the energy. <coughs> we understand 
uh, from before, we just uh, talked about the Tai Chi Chuan's assistant. The energy has uh, no shape, but when it's performing, you cannot do nothing to performing the energy. Uh, by the way, if you see uh, someone does nothing, then they can make an extreme energy in there, then that is not true. Uh, the energy is performing, it always, always related with our physicals, uh, you know, performing in there. So which is, uh, uh, you can performing, uh, you know, in a different way, which is uh, tidying up yourself. And then you can also performing the energy with uh, not stiffed up yourself, maintains a uh, soft in there. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, basically you, you both can deliver energy, but you give with a different feeling into you know uh, into the others okay so let's see uh, with the same amount of the energy you uh, you know heading to something let's say heading to someone if you are totally like a rock uh, like a iron uh, you make the other feel it's very hard uh, probably they feel hurt uh, and uh, then the means this will be a best uh, if you use a same amount of the man uh, energy, uh, but you uh, covered by a cotton, and uh, you can still, you know, deliver energy and have the same damage as the, uh, the other parts. Uh, let's see, uh, opponent, uh, but they may have a different feeling uh, compared with the stiff uh, these parts. Which one is better? There is no better. Uh, it's just like I ask a question, is yin better than yang or yang better than yin? Um, no, uh, there is uh, equally same. The only way is a different way of the performing. Okay, so here I just want the dressing. Uh, in Tai Chi Chuan, this area, we follow the, the philosophy of the idea. You have to performing your energy they, even you are performing the hardness, but it has a softness involved, okay? And uh, uh, do not just uh, uh, focusing on one side. It must be uh, balanced by hard and soft. Then through of the sequence of the learning, you actually learning how to use external shape to performing the energy. Then for sure, when we are learning a sequence is just one of the item, you cannot really feel very much when you are performing sequence in the slow way and also a gentle way. Then we particularly ask you based on the sequence of a movement, then extend it into the other kind of the practice we call a single movement practice. In that time, you are able, able to, you know, practice the hardness with a certain of the speed to feel your energy from how uh, how from the uh, you know one side transfer into the other side and how you make a coordination uh, to be works uh, with your uh, you know uh, physical and how you are storage energy based on the relaxation but are still able to performing the hardness uh, in there so this is also the content Actually, we are learning from the sequence. Okay, uh, summary a little bit. So which is uh, uh, in sequence of the learning, what content are we learning? We should say first part, it includes a physical memory on outside shape, this area. But our goal should not limit it. This is uh, what we have to learn. This is everything what we're going to learn. We would like you extend it from the shape learning, then extend it into a method, technique, and also energy. And uh, you're learning a movements, but do not limit it by the movements. That is a goal. And uh, do not, you know, uh, through the sequence of practice, limit the, your understanding is just about a sequence. Actually, you through the sequence of learning is all about method, technique, and energy. Okay, so this is about the content, what we are going to learn from the sequence. Okay, uh, then, you know, uh, here is uh, also the other parts I want to uh, 
give you uh, some idea, which is the progression of the learning in Tai Chi Chuan. Today, we just do a little bit of basic overview of that. Uh, we are going to address this more in a detailed way <coughs> in following the class, okay? So the progression of the learning in Tai Chi Chuan, uh, we have uh, this understanding based on a classic. Uh, in Tai Chi Chuan, uh, I think uh, the title called Tai Chi Chuan Treaties, uh, which is, uh, this is uh, based on Wang Zhongyue's classic, uh, talked about the Tai Chi Chuan. Uh, inside they say, uh, through the movements of familiar, then you become to understand the energy. Through the en uh, energy understanding, you become to spirit clear or, you know, uh, centralized your mind. Okay, so that is a progression. So which is the first stage of the learning in Tai Chi Chuan is regarding on uh, movements familiar, but uh, here when we say a uh, movements familiar, it's also very easy dressing yourself into what like a sequence familiar. No, it's not about sequence. It's everything related with your physical, uh, you know, which is outside the shape. This area you need to familiarize, which is include the sequence performing, but it's also include like uh, uh, what we just said, the technical side, the method of the performing, you have to be uh, you know, familiarized. And uh, not even that, uh, by yourself practice, even with your opponent practice, you need to familiar with it, like uh, familiar with the push hands content, familiar with a uh, breaking posture practice, and uh, familiar with uh, everything, you know, you need to uh, performing it, which is related with the physical, not just by yourself, even with your opponent, you need to familiarize. So this is the first uh, area we have to understand, the first stage of the study, which is familiarize Tai Chi Chuan's uh, system. Then second is about energy understanding. Regarding on energy understanding, this is also can be a uh, confused, uh, you know, what is, uh, which is energy is energy. What about the understanding in here? You know, what should I understand? Here, actually, when we talked about the energy understanding is not just say, okay, how much energy you have, okay? And uh, what's the direction you're going to deliver energy? It's not about that. First, understand the energies in and yang, which is soft and hard. Second, you also need to understand the energies uh, in yang, uh, how to change it. Uh, this change, uh, I should say, is uh, transforming, you know, yin and yang. This is uh, based on the philosophy. So which is uh, when we say understand the energy, this part is basically to understand the energy's yin yang change. For example, uh, in technically, how to use heart to control your opponent and also how to use uh, soft to neutralize your opponent's energy. So those are, you know, based on the philosophy to understanding what kind of, uh, uh, you know, energy you're using can be a finding a balance between you and your opponent and also even on yourself from a soft and hard, how can you balance yourself not extremely on one side and, uh, uh, you know, to be a balanced. And as we understand uh, in uh, philosophy of the Tai Chi and the, or, or we say in philosophy of the yin yang, include the five element, the essentially uh, idea on the philosophy is about a balance. So which is uh, understand the energy, this part actually is self side, how you can balance. Use, uh, you know, your softness and hardness. And also from your opponent's uh, side, when they have a heart, how you can balance their heart. And uh, uh, also how, how you can control your opponent through your energy of the change. So that is a uh, content in understand energy, this area. So uh, understand energy actually is a quite, 
big uh, content in here. And uh, uh, I should say, through energy of the understanding, uh, we can subject our energy, but it also can extend it into the other, you know, uh, subject. Uh, for example, uh, it's hard to give you a, a, a you know, a good example, like a relationship with the other, uh, and also uh, even yourself as a personality, and should you always, uh, you know, aggressive, or should you always, uh, you know, uh, to be, you know, I don't know how to say aggressive on the other side, too soft, like say, too limped, and uh, whatever they say, they you just, uh, you know, uh, uh, know any of the opinion, and the too much limp in there, and uh, I don't think that, that is uh, can be a good uh, personality, uh, uh, but uh, too aggressive. I also don't want to say this is a perfect uh, personality. So, which is uh, always uh, finding a balance, you know, in there would be a better by yourself finding a balance uh, with uh, a partner. You also can find a certain of the balance. This is actually uh, extended of the Tai Chi Chan's understanding based on energy, this subject, you can extend it into the other area. So that's also a one of the reason to understand the philosophy, to understand the uh, energies changing, how can we use a different method to finding balance with your opponent, then extend the, uh, you know, into a different subject, uh, you probably uh, have a, a better idea with uh, Tai Chi Chuan. And uh, uh, some people really uh, have this kind of uh, feedback. I often hear uh, practice Tai Chi Chuan change their life by themselves. They become a better, gentle person and uh, everything, they can be a more smooth. And uh, uh, with the other, they can also, uh, you know, not too soft, but either way, not to be uh, too aggressive. They can be a more balanced, uh, to to uh, to deal with the relationship, so uh, uh, become better balanced the person. That's why Tai Chi Chuan. Uh, later on, we have a saying: through adjusting yourself physically, then adjust yourself in the heart. Then it can changing your character, uh, personality. So let's say your personal character. So this is about the. Uh, understand energy, they can be understand in many area. Then the last area, what we want to say is achieve, you know, spirit clear. Uh, regarding on spirit clear, this uh, can be a uh, confuse for uh, many people. Uh, what we want to say as uh, spirit clear, generally we want to uh, give you the idea is your mind are in center. What that mean? Uh, we don't want your uh, tension too much focusing on one area, one subject, because if you're focusing on the detail, you will see the balance only in the detail parts. And uh, uh, the balance is not about only detail parts, you can be balanced. You also have to see uh, over pictures balance too. So the over pictures balance is a true balance. The small details of balance can be a, have a winning or losing in there, but sometimes it's you can losing in the small part, but you still can winning a, a bigger part. So which is uh, uh, in Tai Chi Chuan, they also want you to be uh, uh, be able to see the detail but also be able to see a whole picture. Uh, the whole picture's the balance is over, uh, overall of the balance. And uh, uh, to be able to see a whole picture, your mind cannot, you know, focusing on the small area. You need to be able to see a bigger picture. And how we can do that, uh, mind has to be a centered, which is a spirit, need to be uh, cleared. What that mean clear? My mind is in center. Do I understand the detail parts? Yes, you still remaining uh, clear on the detail, but your mind should not try to 
uh, diving into the detail, only see the detail. You are able to remaining to see a whole picture. The detail parts, uh, you can deal by itself automatically. Uh, then, you know, these parts will be coming out. How can I achieve my spirit clear? Uh, you know, to achieve that, actually, it's just like a progression of the Tai Chi Chuan's learning through the familiarize. When you're more familiarized, your mind will be more not focusing on the detail, more stay in the center. When you more understand the energy, more familiar with the energy is changing to deal with the balance, you will not use too much of your tension. You can maintain your mind into the center to see the bigger picture in there. So in here, we should uh, say, how can I make uh, uh, more energy, I mean, uh, my spirits uh, to be a more centralized, to see overall picture, overall a balance, actually familiarize, experience. But how can we be more familiarized? Practice, okay? So which is the key uh, in the last er uh, stage you want to achieve is it depends on how much you do a practice. How much, uh, you know, experience do you have? Then you achieve how much of the spirit clear. So this is about the progression of the learning. So which is uh, uh, the Tai Chi Chuan's uh, study. Uh, it's all, you know, come from the first stage, which is familiarize. And uh, uh, as we are uh, going to teach in the movements, uh, especially for people who are a beginning, uh, you probably feel uh, difficult because uh, everything's new to you. And uh, uh, when you are not able to familiarize, you see the detail, you see the one part, you cannot learn uh, whole things into one, uh, you know, uh, picture. So that is the often in the beginning, uh, beginning, we feel this kind of uh, struggling. That is also the reason we stretching out our class into a 40. So which is every class after we will have a couple of days uh, doing the next class, you know, coming in. So give you some time to, you know, practice, uh, digest, uh, you know, to uh, get used to it. So that is the purpose with stretching class, you know, as uh, uh, quite long. I think uh, uh, basically it's like uh, how many months? Five months, maybe? Uh, I don't know. Uh, so which is, uh, you know, uh, four weeks, uh, a month, uh, which is, uh, I think, uh, three, four months uh, in there. So uh, that is about the time we give you a uh, slowly uh, to catch up, especially for people who are just a start. Uh, then the last things uh, I want you to understand, <clears throat> uh, when we are really uh, performing it, uh, how we identified ourselves uh, performing in the right direction, uh, you know, there is a five, uh, you know, areas you can check on yourself, which is uh, one, uh, you are calmed, okay? And the second, your breathing is synced, or let's say qi sinking down to dantian, or breathing float, okay? Then your moving is agile, and your energy is unified, okay? And, uh, uh, you know, the last, uh, your spirit is, uh, I don't know how to uh, say that, I don't want to use a concentrate, uh, you know, spirit. Uh, your spirit, uh, I should say, use like a rise, which is high spirit, not like a all time a very low uh, in there. So which is uh, through the practice, you feel your spirit being raised up. So this is not really a perfect translation, uh, but uh, uh, I don't have a better word for this uh, yet. Uh, when I have better words, I will make a retranslate for the last part. But in Chinese, uh, we have this uh, saying, maybe you can uh, check by yourself. The five area, one is Xi Jing. Uh, second is, uh, uh, you know, Qi Chen. 
，啊，然后呢，呃，身临尽整神聚啊 ，this is the five areas we have to achieve during our performing. Okay, so uh, today's uh, class basically we give us uh, you know overview on. The teaching, what we're we going to uh, to do, and uh, uh, we discussioned the background of the Yang family Tai Chi Chuan, and also uh, we discussioned uh, this form come from or where. Uh, what we're we going to teach of this form, uh, it's come from where, and also uh, how important they are. Then we also discussioned the Tai Chi Chuan's assistant to make us to understand. The sequence, this form, is in which position of the Taiji Chuan's system, okay? Uh, and the uh, Taiji Chuan's system is based on the philosophy, which is uh, Yin and Yang, and the Wen and the Wu, Ti and the Yu, Ji and the Bi. Then you know, uh, in self practice, in this area it's also involved with uh, a shape and a no shape. Then the sequence practice is just under the shape, this area uh, of the one of the content. Okay. Then we also been discussing uh, the purpose of the learning the sequence. Uh, I would like you to understand: you are learning a movements, you are learning a sequence, but the purpose cannot limit the only by here. And we are learning the movements, learning our sequence. But through the movements, sequence of the learning, we want to learn a method. We want to learn a technique. We want to learn the energy. That is the content. We are really from a fixed sequence to learning a something can extend us into a, a unlimited movements, which is understand. Learning of movements, but do not limited by the movements. Okay, then uh, the the next uh, we also want you to understand the progression of the study, which is uh, through the movements of formula extended into the energy understanding, and through the energy understanding, then you become to a spirit clear. So this is the progression of the learning. Okay, the last uh, you want to achieve the goal in the five area. One is mind calm, and the second, uh, qi sink, and the third, moving agile. Then energy unifying. Then the last sp spirit are rising. Okay, so this is the uh, content we've been discussing today. Uh, you know. Uh, we are about finish class for now. Uh, I want to apologize again uh, today uh, through many of the technical issue. Uh, it been affect my teaching a little bit. So if somewhere I didn't say clear, uh, please you know uh, inform me. Then you know next time I do a better preparation. And by the way, uh, during the class. Uh, we also uh, discussioned. We were going to uh, make a group, which is uh, all people who you sign up in the class. We're going to make a, a group chat. So, which is uh, every time if you have a uh, you know a question, you can leave into our group. So I can uh, review your question, then uh, finding a time answer during the uh, teaching. But also, we we ask you to uh, to present your homework every time when we are teach uh, the content. I want you know, uh, actually, I don't really uh, say you must. I encourage you to shooting a video for yourself, then post into the group, uh, which is uh, I mean the group is private. Uh, only we can see, so I can review what you are performing and the finding where need to be uh, improved and give you the tip uh, during the teach. So which is uh, 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 the group? I don't uh, really know uh, which kind of platform we choosing. We certainly can choose 
you know, uh, Facebook Messenger as a group uh, to do it. We also can choose, uh, you know, uh, WhatsApp as a group. We can, you know, create a group for us uh, to discussion privately. And also uh, there is another uh, platform it called a Google Classroom. So we haven't figured out yet, uh, but the, by the time of the next time when we started, we uh, should set up in there. I hope everyone join the group. So during the group, our focusing is regarding on this class, uh, which is uh, uh, privately online discussion with our group, with the content of this class. Okay, so let's stop the class for now, for today. Okay, thank you everyone.